Hello, let's make some glitch art with a hex editor. A hex editor is a computer program that can edit the binary data of a file and it represents that binary data as hexadecimal digits. On Linux, I'm going to be using WX hex editor. If you have a Windows computer, you can use HXD. And on a Mac, I like to use Hexfiend. I'll put links to all of these in the description. Here's my setup for this demonstration. On the left, I have WX Hex Editor, and on the right, I have Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. That, of course, is the 1987 movie starring John Lithgow about a family that meets a friendly Sasquatch. Making glitch art with a hex editor is really just a matter of clicking around in the file, changing things, and seeing what happens. So that's what I'm going to try. Uh, I've already spent a little time with this file, so I've learned that there are some things I can do and some things I should probably leave alone. And this area where you see all these semicolons, this is kind of the marker in this particular file where anything before this, I really don't want to mess with. This is the header part of the file and that all really needs to stay intact for this to keep uh, working as an image, as a JPEG file. And anything else I can probably mess with and it should be okay, but maybe not. This is trial and error and that's part of, part of the process. Let me just try something really simple down here. I'll just insert a letter R. And because I'm very early on in the file here, just a very small changes can make a big difference sometimes. Let's see what happens here. Okay, interesting. It kind of shifted to the right a little bit and it got a little bit orangey. So that's neat. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do. Let me add a G and maybe an E and how about a Q and let's scroll down a bit further and add a quote mark. You know, just doing a little bit at a time here, seeing what happens. And whoa, okay, so it got super red. Uh, that's a bit too much, I feel like. Just visually, that's gone a little too far. I don't really like that. So let me back up a few. I'm gonna undo a few of those insertions. And I'm gonna scroll way down here and add a little bit more down here, a few Ds, but much further down the file where I think they'll have a little bit less impact. Let's see. Okay, somehow that, okay, no, I think I, I think I rewound too much, but you can see a little difference down here uh, with those Ds I just inserted. It kind of gets a little staticky near the bottom. So, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go about halfway up here and let's do a few, a few Gs. Okay, that's kind of nice. It sort of messed up his mouth area a little bit more than the rest of it. So that's cool. I don't really know why. Um, I kind of like that. I wonder if I can move that effect somewhere else or do something similar up a little bit higher. Um, I don't think it matters what letter I put in here, by the way. I think it's just kind of shifting the data around and uh, poking holes in it. So I don't know if it matters what, what letter I do. I guess I could experiment and find out. But yeah, okay, so it kind of moved that effect up the side of his face a little bit. It's still looking, it's looking kind of busy, kind of messy, but I'm going to keep going anyway, just for, you know, why not? <laughs> let's see what we can do. Now let's go back up near the top and see if I can do something a bit more dramatic. Um, if you're early on in the file, again, there's a risk of messing it up to the point where you can't use it anymore, but there's also the potential that it could make a pretty big difference. So I just put a square bracket in. No idea gonna happen. Okay, kind of got red and shifted to the left a little bit. That's fine, I guess. Uh, let's do a couple more edits. Just a few letters up here. And let's see what happens. Okay, just kind of got yellow. You know what, I wanna make it, I wanna make a more dramatic change than that. Let me see what else I can do here. I'm just clicking a bunch and seeing seeing what happens. You know, just throw it out there. Okay, there we go. I've kind of erased the bottom half of the image. That's kind of nice. It's one of those things. It's trial and error, see what happens, and sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. You know, this glitch method, as you're seeing, does this kind of horizontal banding. So it does something, and then everything after that particular row is affected. It might be interesting to play with that a little bit. Um, so what you can do is actually just rotate the image in a photo editor, the, like your glitched image, keep glitching it and then rotate it back or do something else with it. Here I just rotated it to the right and then mess with it a little bit more. One thing you may run into, and I did run into this, is that uh, because you're breaking this JPEG down, it, it may not stay broken the way that you want it to look. So if you arrive at a way of it looking that you're happy with, 
the best way to keep it looking that way is actually to take a screenshot of it and then that screenshot of it is the new image that you glitched. Um, like if you try to upload it to Imgur or Twitter or Instagram or something, it may look different than it does on your computer even though you've glitched it into the, the form that you like. And that's really all there is to hex glitching. You open a JPEG file in a hex editor, mess around with the data and see what happens. And that's it, have fun.